What up everyone, this is Devori Senpai here again with another tutorial, this time on a specific glitch that happens in Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. Now I'm sure a lot of you have heard about it, it's using 8 players with one controller. Now I'm going to do a little explaining about how this probably works, but I'll show you how to do it anyways. So, what you want to do is, here's the main menu, you go to Smash, and you go to 8 player Smash right now, um, and you use a controller. I'm going to use my trusty GameCube controller uh, right here. See, okay, so I'm player 1, right? So what you want to do is, I'll explain everything later, but... You see where it says player one? I want you to make a computer that I want you to make it none. But have the hand. You see the hand? It's still on the none uh, name. It's highlighted there. So you see it glow, right? Now, go ahead and take your amiibo. You will need eight amiibo if you want to control eight players. However many uh, players you want in your uh, possession, that's how many amiibos you would need. So the max is 8. The minimum is 2 or 1. So go ahead and... Oops. Oh, okay. Yeah, I made a mistake. Hold on. Okay. Totally forgot about this. <laughs> it's very interesting how you do it. Um, you go ahead and you highlight the player 1 and then you make it none. But what you want to do before you put the amiibo is you want to unplug your controller so the hand disappears. But if you notice, the nun is still highlighting and still blinking. That's how you know that it's still effective. <clears throat> so take two, you put your amiibo down, and you see how uh, the name, I named him Jumpman for obvious reasons, but you see the name, it's still highlighted. So the hand, per se, is still there. It's just not there. The amiibo is taking over. So then you replug in your controller. Uh, plug it in again. And you move. And now you're player two. However, it's still highlighting. So you're player two and player one. So you go ahead and repeat the same process still highlighting and it's gone put another amiibo and <laughs> Luigi go and <clears throat> it's still highlighted so when you do this again now you're player three but if you still notice both of the amiibos are still highlighted so you're st the game still thinks that the hand is over Luigi and the hand is over Mario. So the game still thinks that you're Mario and Luigi, or at least in the place of them. So I'm just going to do three for right now, because it'll probably take too long. Um, uh, yeah. So what you do now is, since uh, the Amiibos... Are, are there and since the game still thinks you're controlling all three what you want to do is kind of a reset uh, in a way you go to settings and then you go back and then now reconfigure everything and now you're controlling three players in a sense with only one controller so you go ahead and you oh come on Mm. Uh. Okay, so you have all these now, and the best way to, if you want like all three uh, to be the same character, you go to the left, right, up, or down to merge your hands. So if you notice, you could see a little bit of player two in there. It says player one, but you can see player two, and player three uh, is the thing you're holding. And if you're hearing any noise or sounds, uh, pardon me, 
it's uh, the outside, they're working on construction or something like that. So, apologize for the inconvenience. Anyways, but, so you want to go and, and, let's see, I'll, I'll be Mario just for simplicity's sake. So, Mario! let's go ahead and make a computer. This could be fun for a lot of things. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Cloud. He's good. <laughs> and then, make sure to put on teams so you don't hit each other. If you're doing teams. Come on. Team. There we go. And get ready to fight. Do all sorts of crazy things. Like, if I could get it, there we go. I could do all sorts of things. Let me see if I could do this. Mm, I failed at that. But you could do all sorts of combos and such like that. You could have one person grab one and then throw him, and then you could like make sure you get another attack on him as he uh, flies across the screen. You could do all sorts of things. So yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting how this works. Um, the best way to explain it, so I had a friend explain it to me. Um, basically what the amiibos are doing, the reason why we use amiibos to do this glitch is when you take out the controller, right? but the, the hand is still highlighting the player one or the nun whatever it is um, when you put the amiibo down on the on the uh, the Wii pad so that it uh, it sinks it it's essentially trapping player da data so that uh, it's kept in uh, the player data so that the player data doesn't go away or doesn't transfer to the next uh, to the next slot so like if you're player one and then you put a computer or something, and then you're still player one though. But if you desync and you put an amiibo, it's the game. It's essentially thinking that it's another player data. It's not a computer data, so it's not taking over. So the amiibo is like another human, per se. So it puts you at player two because it's like player one is is a human already. It already has a slot, so you don't need that. So you, you're player two and, and player three and so on and so forth. But the game, it, it gets confused because the game still thinks you're player one, player two, player three. But it just auto readjusts itself to think you're the next player. But once you uh, click settings and such and you reset it essentially, then it uh, goes back to uh, all three of the players being player one or whatever player that you essentially are. So that's the best way I could describe it. That's the best way I know how it's done. It's pretty simple. <clears throat> okay. So um, what I'm going to do now is have seven players um, for versus one level nine, and we'll see how that works. So I'll be right back.
so there you go guys this is uh, the eight player uh, amiibo glitch that you can use to control eight players at once um, using one controller so as you saw I just controlled seven Mario's fighting level 9 Bowser and it wasn't really all too difficult uh, I mean you know granted that uh, some fell because you know I just can't control all the Mario's I can't hold all these Mario's <laughs> but um, so that's the glitch uh, let me know what you think in the comments like subscribe uh, if you want to see more videos of uh, me uh, doing these kinds of exploits or tutorials or, or gameplay or, or whatnot but let me know what you think in the comments below um, I'll see you guys later uh, thanks for watching this has been Devori Senpai Super Smash Brothers for real thank you